You've been uh, listening to the beautiful clarinet solo from the first act of Sleeping Beauty of Tchaikovsky. And uh, for me, this is kind of fun to be up here on stage to play this solo because during my 28 year tenure here, I'm usually down there in the pit playing this. So it's kind of fun to be up on stage to play this lovely solo. Also with where the Royal Danish Ballet is every night dancing. Um, I'm going to uh, start by making three points about this solo. Um, very, very important. The first point I'm going to talk about is articulation, the portamento and the shorter articulation later in the solo. I'm going to talk about the use of rubato and the use of non-rubato. Uh, it's an interesting discussion we're going to get into about rubato and playing in time and how that affects the structure of the solo. That's the second point. And then there, I'm going to end with a little uh, tips on how to practice that 32nd note passage at the end, the little cadenza, that descending passage. But uh, let's start with, uh, with the articulation now. Um, as we discussed in the fundamentals of clarinet playing, the long articulation, I'm going to call this a portamento articulation. It starts with these two eighth notes and we want to play these eighth notes. We want to tell a story basically. So I'm going to, what do we have to do to tell a story? Well, I would say, just as I said in our, in our introduction, fundamentals of playing, always air first. So lead with your air, release with your tongue. 